but once again is being hammered in the news. Here they say Uber is laying off 3,700 as rides plummet due to COVID-19. Another major development is that he is um, taking a major salary cut. My guess is that the shareholders, investors um, forced him to do that, right? Because he certainly doesn't deserve 40 plus million uh, while people are not even getting their sick leave. So in an SEC filing dating back to last week, Uber disclosed plans to lay off 3,700 employees. Uh, the figure amounts to around 14% of the ride-hailing giant's total workforce. In the document, the company states that the job loss is part of a planned reduction in operating expenses in response to the economic challenges and uncertainty resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on the company's business. So Lyft pretty much did the same. You know, the Lyft figures, I think, are about 17% of their workforce, 14% of Uber's workforce cut. And uh, while Uber hasn't suspended operations altogether, the company has no doubt taken a massive hit uh, to its bottom line as state governments have issued stay-at-home orders for non-essential workers. Um, in a letter to staff, CEO Dara Koshrashawi noted that the cuts will come from the community operations and recruiting. So on the recruiting side, I can tell you, as of April the 1st, um, they cut all the recruiters, the drivers, referral codes. Um, they cut the drivers off from those monies, but they're still using those codes to recruit drivers. So that's not actually a true statement. It's very, very misleading. Um, and then here's the big one. Uber will also be closing around 40% of its green light locations used for in-person driver assistance. Now they have all these glamorous big hubs worldwide. That was a massive, massive burden on them. And they probably have to break a lot of those leases. And that obviously breaking leases also comes with consequences, right? So they probably did the calculations and said, listen, it's better we get out of a lot of these hubs. With the reality of our rides, trips volumes being down significantly, our need for Com ops as well as in-person support is down substantially, he writes. And with our hiring freeze, there simply isn't enough work for recruiters. Kosh Shawi has also agreed to waive his own base salary for the rest of 2020. Listen to that. So I, I'm one of the few YouTubers who's been calling him out again and again and again. Say, hey, relinquish your salary, right? Do the right thing. So that to me is... A little bit of a step in the right direction. So it says here, Shawi has also agreed to waive his own base salary for the rest of 2020. In connection with foregoing Dara Koshrashawi, the company's chief executive officer, after consultation with the board of directors, agreed to waive his base salary for the remainder of the year ending December 31st, 2020. The company writes in the filing, in connection with this decision, Mr. Koshrashawi and the company entered into a letter agreement effective as of May the 2nd, 2020. So they basically said, listen, we'll replace you with, like I've always said, with someone we can pay five to $10 million. We just cannot afford to pay you $40 million. You know, we'll, we'll offer you the job um, as long as you take a massive pay cut until the end of 2020. And this is just right a few days ago. This is May the 2nd. Very interesting development. The executive made around one million in 2019. And again, that I'm not buying either, that he made around one million. His salary was way, way higher than that. We've reached out to Uber for further comments. So they, they're still waiting for feedback on that one. So very interesting development there. 14% um, of their work was cut, their, their employees. And Uber, as CEO, um, basically relinquishes his pay, uh, his base pay, till the end of 2020. That's it, Dara. See, that's what happens when the pressure is on you. You've got to act.